Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. In the last episode, we completed the adventure mode 100%, and before we start going online and doing character showcases, I still have quite a lot of other things I can do, starting with checking out all of the Nitro Kart tracks. Now, if you don't know, this has all of Crash Team Racing tracks, but all of Crash Nitro Karts as well, and seeing how we're gonna be running into a lot of those online, I figure what would be best for right now is just to race each through each one of them and sort of see how that goes. Well, I am also interested in, oh yeah, they do have them in different cups. I figure we'll do all this kind of stuff at some point because outside of the story mode, you have time trials, you have relic races for not just the CTR tracks, but all of them. And same thing, we have CTR challenge for even the CNK tracks, which is really cool. I feel like those will all be their own episode of doing every CTR challenge, every relic race, maybe not the ones we've already done just to make it a little bit more interesting. But then also like the crystal challenge on all of these, you know, there's a lot of cool ones. So I think that we're gonna sort of do like an every other episode kind of thing uh, for now is like, you know, this episode I'll do all the CNK tracks just so we can showcase this off. Next episode will be a character showcase. Then we'll come back and maybe do like all the battle tracks and then we'll do another character showcase, do a little bit of a back and forth kind of thing. Right now though, my biggest interest for sure is checking out all of the CTR tracks, or CNK, CNK tracks. We already checked out the CTR tracks. So um, yeah, let's get started with that. Where were that? That starts here, Crash Nitro Kart. So let's get started with the first one, which is Inferno Island. Now, unfortunately, they don't have the CNK story mode in this game. That would be amazing. But they just have the tracks and the characters, which is still good enough. I want to keep it one player, three laps, difficulty medium, mirror, mirror mode off. But it's really cool that they have mirror mode. That makes me happy. And I figure we will have Crash in his Nitro Kart setup. Oh, I guess I want to eventually showcase all of these characters, um, but I'm not gonna do that for right now. We're just gonna focus on Crash, a character we're sort of familiar with as we check out the tracks. Today is all about the tracks, not exactly about the characters, but I do have the Nitro Kart cart. You know, this is the cart he usually had the Team Bandicoot with the two stripes down the middle. I'm pretty sure it used to have stripes. I don't remember exactly. Oh wait, no, wait, no, 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 wait, what, what happened? I chose Crash, I was like, okay, Polar. That's what you wanted, right? There we go. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's get started with some CNK tracks. So here is Inferno Island. The first track you run into, oh, it's nighttime now, which it wasn't nighttime before. This is basically CNK virtual. It's interesting, it still says CTR on the top. I guess it makes sense. But this is basically Crash Cove and CNK. If you don't know the story for Crash Nitro Kart, it is that Crash and his friends are sort of abducted by this like space king called Velo, Emperor Velo, 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 I've never been able to pronounce it. Oh, this track is so cool. Man, oh look, there's Oxide ship crashed. Oh, that's so cool. Let me talk about the track real quick before we talk about Nitro Kart. Oh man, this one's cool. I like the layout of it because honestly, the controls of the original Nitro Kart were a little off compared to CTR, but I feel like this is a lot more solid compared to CTR is the remasters controls. So these tracks feel a lot more fluid than they did before. Get out of here, fake crash. I'm gonna take the shortcut up this way. Ooh, there we go. Got the big ramp. But you can definitely tell how it's similar to Crash Cove. It's sort of just like a circular track with a big ramp at the end. Oh, I missed it. But beyond that, it's pretty simple. I'm having a hard time keeping up right now, though. I don't know if there's really too many other shortcuts beyond that in this track. I gotta be honest, I'm not too familiar with the shortcuts in this in Crash Nitro Car as much as I am CTR, because I just didn't put in the pure amount of gameplay hours into that one as much. But I'm hoping that'll change as we continue to enjoy uh, Nitro Fueled. But with that being said, ow! CNK was a little bit different because, you know, he was Crash and his friends were in space, and it was about sort of like teamwork, which is honestly very similar to the recently released Team Sonic Racing, where you had to sort of work with your friends and use power-ups together and stuff. Oh gosh. Oh, that almost hit me. I'm gonna win this. I hope you know. Oh, maybe there is a little shortcut over that way. I sort of missed out on it. But I did see that. I might want to retry that. Maybe like do another lap on this track just to try to get that. Come on. Did I get him? Ah, oh, I don't think I did. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. I don't quite need that to get in the lead and get a win. I get the speed boost while I'm already in first place. That's great. There we go. Now we're moving. Right at the end. Sweet, there it is, we get the win. So like I said, I might retry that real fast, but we do get some 40 coins. Let's retry real fast, because I do want to check out that shortcut. 
So back in Inferno Island, it's right to the left of this. <laughs> right, I think? Right over here. Whoa, I've never known about this. Oh, that's super cool, ah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, ah, it didn't turn out so well. Very interesting, that's all I really needed to know. Interesting little shortcut there, you sort of need to know what you're doing, but cool, now we know about that, so when we go online, we can be a little bit more available to handle it, and that's what I'm looking to do in today's episode. Get more familiar with these tracks so that when we go online, we're fine. Jungle Boogie is one of the ones I remember a lot. It was a really cool track. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's so much fun. Here we are, Jungle Boogie. Very cool looking. This is the home track to one of the boss fights. I, you know, the character that you can see eating the CTR lug, I don't remember his name. All right. There it is, very cool. We're moving. But yeah, well, I, what the team was, the first team was Crash, uh, Coco, and Crunch, who was from Cortex Strikes Back. Oh, I tried to put the TNT in front of it. Didn't quite work, wasn't quick enough with it. That's fine. Man, this track is pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, I know there's some pretty cool shortcuts in this track we'll definitely have to check out, like up there, but let me do the track normally first. I think there's another shortcut earlier on that I sort of passed. We'll oh, get the shield, get the shield! Phew. <laughs> okay, we got a potion. We're trying to get ahead of Engine and Entrance, I think his name is. He's an unlockable character that we can get through the pit stop. Oh yeah, there's a shortcut to the right there. You can see it's like a little pathway. I don't know if that's actually for better or for worse. It feels like it'd be a tough one to actually maintain. I feel like I'd fall off pretty easy, but I'm gonna try it next lap. And my goal isn't exactly to win all these. It's just to get a bit more familiar with the tracks. Anyways, if we jump right here, we can go up here and definitely save a second or two just by uh, using like a tighter turn. It's super cool. This is a fun track. The track design for Crash Hunter Kart's actually pretty good. There it is, ah, oh, I missed it. Yikes, I'm gonna have to redo this to get that one. But it's it's pretty simple, as you can see up there. Maybe I don't I don't have to, it's just a little ramp that leads at the end. It's basically the same thing, but on a smaller scale, let's you cut the corner a little bit. There we go. But yeah, that's what's so cool about Crash Hunter Car is all of the courses sort of take place in space. And the whole idea is I think if you lose your, your planet, it gets destroyed. So that's a little bit scary. There we go, there we go. We got a clear win on this one. I like it. Okay, so we get another win on another CNK track, get 40 more coins, and we're good to move forward to the next level. So here we are at Clockwork Wumpa. Yeah, that's what it's called. Sort of don't remember this track too much. This is where my memory gets foggy on some of these. Just because I, I was so excited for Crash Nitro Car when it first came out but I just don't remember playing much of it for some reason. Like, I played it a lot, I know, I just don't remember it. So oh, hey, it'd be cool if they did at some point, maybe as like DLC or something, add the story mode of Nitro Kart into the game. Just like the cutscenes and everything would be really fun to see. Oh boy, not doing so well to start off with. That's okay, we'll catch up. It'd be also interesting to see if they ever attempted to do like a team mode like Nitro Kart had. Oh yeah, I think there's a shortcut on those gears. Whoa, oh that's a tight turn. That's like, oh this is a lot like Cortex Castle in terms of its layout. Gotta keep, ah, that in mind, that wasn't cool. Right before the, the boost, I'm in last place. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna have to change up. Oh, it looked like there was maybe like a, ah, shortcut on the outside. That's not good either. <laughs> Little pitfalls. Oh, I see this. This is a lot like Cortex Castle. This is a shortcut, I think. But you know what, I really need to catch up right now, so I'm gonna take it. Oh boy, get this, oh, I couldn't quite get that question box. Now I'm catching to the competition, but man, did I launch myself too far. <laughs> did I have blue boost there? Was that the thing going on? I don't know. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with Crash's turning now, which is good. It's been a couple days since I last played, like when I finished the story mode, I had to catch up with some other games, and I've been itching to play this game ever since. Okay, I got some rockets, but I might not need them as we go into the cogs. This is super duper cool. Whoop, there we go. Oh, you're still ahead of me. So I think that, oh, there isn't a shortcut over there. That's the mine cart. Okay, that's like a little aesthetic thing. Well, I had to try it, had to find out. So I'll go the normal way this way without the shortcut, just to show you what that's like. Obviously, it's quite simple. 
They're gonna jump on the corners a little bit though. Trying to catch back up. Oh, this is Entropy. Entropy, I've never really been, I think it's Entropy. It's a pun. Oh, it's Entropy. I don't, I don't know what that word exactly means. It's something time travel -y. You really need to break it on that turn, that last turn. It's like almost a complete 180. Come on now. I'm gonna use all the shortcuts. Gonna pull out all the stops, get my full Wumpa fruit, which makes sense we're in Clockwork Wumpa. Yeah, it really is just like, it's both a, like a tower, like a clock tower, and also like a factory for Wumpa fruit or like Wumpa juice or something. What is it? That was always something I found weird about Crash Launcher Kart is that the fact that it takes place on different planets but still has like the, the consistencies of where Crash, you know, is from. So like I think there's even like a temple called Tiny Temple. And it's like, did, did Tiny visit this planet previously? Am I missing something? <laughs> oh yeah, you do get the blue boost here. So I was just able to keep that before, I guess. This time I didn't though. Ooh, that's probably why I jumped way too high. Okay, so it looks like I got a lead in front of Dingo Dial, which means we win. So we're, we're doing pretty good when it comes to winning on these tracks. That's always awesome. And I'm good to move to the next one. All right, so here we are at Android Alley. And I gotta be honest, I don't remember this track at all. I know it's the home track of, oh, I do remember the train a little bit. But I do, I do know it's the home track of one of the boss fights, the robot boss. But that's really all I remember. It's a cool looking track, reminding me more of like, like of, more like Ratchet and Clank more than Crash Bandicoot. So we'll just have to sort of take it slow this first lap so I can figure out what in the world is going on. And hit, be hit by a rocket, of course. Jeez. Uh, there's the big train. So obviously, you probably want to stay in the center so that you can get the best lines, but you got to be careful because there's a big train. There's some speed boost there, too. Well, I wanted that Wumpa Fruit Papu. Come on, dude. Oh, the music here, I remember for some reason. There we go. Okay, let's catch up. Whoop. Yep, there it is. Okay, oh, is this the one where you can jump through the glass? I think that's a different level. No, that's this one, right up there. I do remember that, I'm not gonna do that right now. It's such a cool idea, though. They really went out there with this, because this was not a game made by Naughty Dog, so it was, ah, no! <laughs> Got hit by the street cleaners. Um, this was not a game made by the people who made the original Crash Team Racing. Uh, Crash Nitro Kart was made by, was it Telltale? Not Telltale. Traveler's Tales. I get them mixed up sometimes, because I'm silly. Um, yeah, I think it was made by Traveler's Tales. Because I know the, the Traveler's Tales, who also went on to make all the Lego games. Um, I like making my jumps off of it, that's fun. Um, Traveler's Tales made Wrath of Cortex on the PS2 and GameCube. Or no, well yeah. Is it the Wrath of Cortex? Because Crash, there's Crash 1, and then there's Crash 2, Cortex Strikes Back and then there's Crash 3 Warped, and then there's Crash uh, the Wrath of Cortex. Anyways, oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna jump through the glass this time, whenever it shows up. Unless I passed it. Nope, it's right here. Whoop, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that is so cool. You don't get a trophy for that, though. I was expecting one, because usually all the major shortcuts have trophies. Whoop. Got it, oh no, there's a missile coming for me. Wow, we are so ahead of the competition. It just, it's so easy to drift on this track, it's great. It's another, ow! What happened? Uh, that was a weird visual. Why did the camera zoom out like that? was weird, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Uh, whoop. Here we go, jumping off of this. Did I get a boost for that? I did! All right, this is a fun track. It has a lot of cool ideas, all, all of the, Nitro Kart tracks really do. That's why I wanna hear from you guys in today's episode. Have you played Crash Nitro Kart before? What do you think of the track so far? I would love to hear all about that. Oh boy, come on, ready? Got it. There we go. Jump it over, okay. Yeah, this, this is where the tight turns can really get to you with the character that doesn't have the best turning ever. And I might as well, because this is like a pretty big shortcut too. It gets, ow, that was my own potion! <laughs> I didn't really even see it. That, okay, that set me in front though, right? I don't know, I'm a little turned around right now. Just gotta watch out for the street cleaners. There we go, I mean, we still have such a huge lead, it doesn't matter much, it's just very silly of me. Come on, this, this track definitely reminds me a lot of Ratchet and Clank. 
another. Whoa, we really got some major error that time. <laughs> that was great. Ratchet and Clank's another one of my favorite, you know, like PlayStation properties. Yeah, that was super cool. I like that track a lot. Another 60 coins, and we're good to move to the next one. So this is Electron Avenue. I remember this being a really tough track. Man, the aesthetic is cool now. It has like that neon. I don't even know what to call it. I, I've, I've seen this style before though. It's really cool. Let's get to it. Now we're moving, look at this major jump. Oh, that is so cool. Man, oh yeah, and that one box had an exclamation mark on it because what I think it does, ow, is changes which one of those pads gives you a super boost. They're sort of like engine laps in that way, but a little different. Oh. Now we're drifting. This is a cool track. Yeah, see, you hit it and it actually changes which lane it is. So you sort of have to just hope that nobody else changes it on you. I don't think the NPCs will do that too much, but online, I'm sure it'll happen a little bit more. I remember this turn being super duper tight. That no, wasn't too bad. I mean, I went out at a pretty good angle. Whoa. Yeah, and there was those fields of electricity. If you run into those, they'll zap you, and that's not good. Nobody wants to be zapped. Okay, come on. Whoop. And once again, we got a good lead on him. <laughs> Maybe I should boost it up the hard mode. Whoa, that's a tight turn. Luckily, I got the speed boost to help me out a little bit. Major jump, got the blue boost. Let's see if we can't keep this. Ah, no, we can't. <laughs> that turn is way too tight. Okay, we got it going on. Keep it moving. Another super tight turn. I'm just lucky I'm getting a lot of speed boost to like, accommodate for it. This is a cool track, though. Whoa, okay. I thought like I was about to get zapped. Man, the jumpsuit are super cool, and we're back here again. Whoa, that was sort of weird. I sort of jumped right after it. Made me move in a weird way. There we go. So we're moving through this real fast. Oh, and I got the blue boost. I don't even know when I got that, but I am gonna keep it. I don't know if that, you know, the, the boost pad there gives it to you. Whoa, whoa, we're moving. Okay, look at it go, we're about to hit the headlights over there. Oh gosh, or the street lights or whatever they are. You know, man, we still have this going. This is crazy. Oh man, keep it going. Yeah, there we go, get another boost. Ah, oh, but I hit the wall right there. <laughs> that was a blast, oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, moving too quick there. I had to break it out a little bit. This track is so cool. It's like, it, to me, it's been so long and it's so far out of my memory that these are basically brand new tracks for me, you know? And that is such a thrill. I mean, on top of that, they're adding new tracks to this game. I mean, they've already confirmed that through some of the like post-launch DLC. Like, as soon as like July 3rd is the first one, really looking forward to that. So that is a blue boost, even on the floor. Sort of hard to activate though, or at least to keep it going, I mean. There we go, final lap coming in. Let's keep this blue boost for as long as physically possible. I don't know if that actually counts. Oh, that wall is so easy to hit. We do have another blue boost. There's like, like five different launch pads that give the blue boost in this, it's crazy. But I know that these tracks are a little bit different. This is something I've been meaning to talk about. But in Crash Nitro Kart, one of the biggest gimmicks the game had was the same as Mario Kart 8. Oh, I'm gonna go down here. No, wait, I don't know if that was a good idea. But it was the same thing as Mario Kart 8, which is to say it had some cool anti-gravity stuff way before Mario Kart 8. Um, you could go like up walls and upside down and stuff. You might have noticed if you played that game that that's not present here. And why that is, is just because I guess that would have been like a lot of extra development time to add these tracks, just because that kind of stuff can be very complicated if it's not built in from the ground up, as far as I understand with game development. But I think it's worth it still to have these tracks, even if they don't have their anti-gravity feature. There is one track coming up that I feel like will be sorely missed, at least for me personally, without the anti-gravity feature. And I think this is one of the tracks where, maybe, maybe it was a different track, but it'll like have rain and then it makes you go upside down and the rain is like going up instead of down because you're like upside down on a track and like that's such a cool idea. So I sort of missed that, but beyond that, I, I can understand. There we go, but we finished Electron Avenue. That is a really cool track. So hopefully they can keep up that level of excitement as we keep moving through the other courses, but let's get started with it. Get 80 coins on that one, wow. 
Deep Sea Driving, another one I just don't really remember. I think this is the boss track for Nash, who is the shark guy. He's gonna be fun to showcase. So many characters are gonna be fun to showcase. Oh, and Nash is actually in this one. He's uh, not, yeah, he's in third place. Pretty cool. And right now he's trying to take the lead. He's fighting for it. But this track already sort of reminds me, at least in terms of its sort of openness to like, oh gosh, whoa, I guess we're doing that. That was super cool. Whoa, but we were moving too much there. Um, it reminds me sort of like mystery caves in a way. Trying to keep this blue boost for as long as I can. Not easy around here. This is super cool though. Like all the gears and stuff, and of course all the, ah, underwater aesthetic is a little bit different than any other, except for like Ruse tubes. It definitely has a Ruse tubes feel well, but this is like a lot rustier. Ah, oh, that's cool, all the sea monsters staring at us from outside the tubes. Definitely Ruse tubes with a little bit more like cleaner waters, I guess you could say. This is nasty, but in a cool way. Watch out, ow, that hurt. Yikes. Where are we launching out this way? I'm not sure. Okay, that's the end of the lap right there. That was still super cool. I'm gonna try to take it a little bit wider this time, because I cut in before. I think I went a little bit slower because of it. There we go. So we jumped from the right to the, or the left to the right before. Tried to do the opposite direction. Didn't really work out too well. You can really get moving. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't see that last time. That's how I want to do it. I want to keep my drift going on while I'm getting that boost. I think that's what's gonna help me keep the blue boost. But then there's this big pillar in the way that sort of messes me up. Oh boy. So this track is pretty like straight and simple when it comes to like shortcuts and stuff. I haven't seen any. But it is still a super duper cool track. I wonder why in the Nitro Kart tracks almost every single jump pad gives you the blue boost. Almost every single one of them so far. It's definitely a whole lot different. I mean the tracks are also a lot longer and that might be to compensate for the lack of anti-gravity. I'm gonna try going this way again. I mean, that's not too bad of like a corner cut. Oh, oh, okay, I'm still kicking. And going into that with a lot of momentum. Okay, that is super cool. Oh, I wanted that, but I ended up wasting my blue boost for it. It was worth it, I get some extra Wumpa Fruit, that'll help me overall. We have a huge lead on them. Like, I'm not too worried about it. I'm having such a blast checking out these tracks, though. They're all great. It's a ton of fun. Okay, well this might be a bit of a problem. I don't know, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get that off of there. Okay, gotta be careful, fake crash is coming up. Whoop. There we go, we win. Awesome, that was a cool track. Aesthetically, so much going on. I really enjoy it. Uh, the actual track layout was pretty simple, but still, that can sometimes make for a really fun, solid track, and I think that was the case there. Another 40 coins for us, and we're good to move to another level. Thunderstruck, now this was the track I was thinking about, where in the original, it would have you anti-grab upside down, and the rain is going up, and that's such a cool idea. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing that here, but we'll still be seeing a really cool track, for sure. And go. Man, I don't remember the layout of this one whatsoever. I barely remember this track in general. I just remember that cool fact that I had. Whoa, okay, not the rockets. Oh, I dodged it. Nice, that was cool. So let's try to get ahead of these guys as soon as possible. There's a little mini turbo there. There's just so many cool things going on with this track. This looks like another super long one. Tons of obstacles to get smacked by. Now, that's for sure. Playing a little risky. Whoa, whoa, somehow I held on tight. Come on, hit him with the rocket. Not, none of those rockets are gonna land. You gotta be very careful about using rockets while you or your opponent is in the air. You really need a straight shot at him in this one. Okay, looks like we're turning to the right. Ah, I tried to jump over it. Hard to specifically time that. <laughs> there it is, come on now. This is like a cool spiral upwards. Man, this track just keeps going. So it looks like there'll only be one of those guys slamming down at a time. And if you hit that exclamation box, it'll change which one's slamming. That could be a little bit scary, depending on how the people behind you time it. Whoa, we just jumped over that one staircase. That's great. Now we're starting to get ahead. 
Crunch is right behind us. So I cannot wait to showcase Crunch. That's gonna be cool. I can't wait to talk about all these characters I've been like not talking about ow, too much during their showcases. I can't get by this, oh gosh. That's a tough part of it though, so far. I don't have to learn how to get by, by that without getting hurt. But there are so many cool characters in this game, I can't wait to talk about them! Oh man, that stuff is top the dodge. Oh no, I'm actually caught up with, or they caught up with me, I mean. You know what I mean. Got him. I'm gonna get that power up. No! Come on, dude! I can't get who's in first if can't get out of second. Come on, I gotta run up to him. There it is. No, it didn't line up. I don't know what he's doing. He's just hopping up and down for some reason. Got him with the potion, though. That's great. Ah, man, I thought it was gonna switch. What happened? I pressed the button. Oh, man, I barely didn't make that jump. There it is, there it is. Okay, we're moving. Dude, with the rocket, stop. <laughs> Come on. I gotta get him just by pure racing skill now. Let's see if I have any of that, I'm not sure. There it is, oh my gosh, every time. There's like this ever so tiny little spot. It seems like you can, are you kidding me? You can get through without getting hit. It's nearly impossible to get though. Man, that's tough. Okay, at least I'm not getting hit by these ones. But now he's way ahead, I don't remember his name. Okay, uh, I was trying to put TNTs out for that rocket. Looks like I'm just gonna be getting a second place this time. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that's not the case, but he's just so ahead now, and I got the worst luck with the little spinny things. Whoa, turning way too wide. Yeah, he's about to cross the finish line. Yeah, there's no way. Oh well, that's fine. Second place isn't too bad. <laughs> Krunk, that's his name, Krunk. Alrighty then, well, that's good to know. That we, you know, there's there's definitely some improvements we can make on that track. All right, well, let's move to the next one. Okay, so this one's a weird track. This is Tiny Temple. Now, keep in mind, I don't think any of Crash Nitro Kart takes place on Earth. So, when did Tiny become an interplanetary traveler, you know? Why is there, like, maybe they just made this temple as they started this whole tournament? I can't remember, maybe? <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> So, I don't know, it's just odd, very odd. But this is oddly not really like, you know, Tiny Arena or anything. I feel like this level is most similar to, oh boy. Uh, well, it's partly like, I feel like it's a combination of Mystery Caves and Tiger Temple. I mean, there's all these different things, all these like electronics spilled about. Was that also, yeah, I guess it's like different versions of Oxide Ship up there. Or at least a, a spaceship. I did see a shortcut to the left there. We'll try that in a moment. Whoa, we're moving now. Okay, now I'm gonna catch up to them all. I mean, I say that. I mean, I'm already in the lead, but maybe get up a little bit more ahead. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm too focused on racing. Whoa, don't hit me. Oh, you're gonna hit me, aren't you? No? Okay. That was a blue boost, so I gotta try to keep that a little bit longer next time. I do have Aku Aku. I wanna hold on to it until I'm like, in first, and if they try to hit me with another rocket, I wanna pull it out. But until I build a bit more of a lead. I don't know if I wanna use it just yet. Come on. There we go, okay, so this is where I wanna use the shortcut, I thought I wasn't gonna make that. I just barely did, wow, that was scary. Oh boy. Okay, let's get some more Wumpa Fruit, so making jumps is easier. I wanna get super far ahead before I use this Aku Aku, just for fun. I love the music here, though, it's super cool. Oh, here we go. Got the Wicked Fast Blue Boost. Oh, we could keep this for a while, can't we? Oh, we could keep this for so long. Look at how fast we were moving there! The only problem is that it ended because of how much time we spent in the air and not boosting. Because, ow, okay, here we go. Ready, set, use it. Um, The only reason we want to boost for so long when we have the blue boost is that the longer we keep boosting, it builds up something I believe they call reserves. And the more reserves we have, the more those like speed boosts last. Okay, that's a super tough shortcut. It's definitely a big like risk and reward type thing. You gotta sort of balance out. 
This is a really fun track. I like it a lot. We're moving. And the last one right here. I just love how much speed that gives you. Can't wait to go against people online with the tr with a track like that. It seems like it's gonna be totally different. There we go, we get 40 coins and we're good to move to another level. I keep saying that at the end of each one, but it's true, we're good. So this is Meteor Gorge. I don't remember Meteor Gorge at all. Like whatsoever. I don't remember this track, but what's interesting is it's it's like, I guess like some kind of coal mine but in the middle of a very cold environment, so it has like this cool, hot and cold idea. I don't know if that was in the original track or not. Probably was, but I'm not sure. Like that concept. I Maybe mean, that's why I'm not remembering this very much. The track layout, looking at the mini-map, seems pretty simple. Everybody's keeping up with me pretty well right now. Moto Joe's right on my tail. Oh, I like this music though. Okay, get this. Oh, wow, that made a little ramp. Gotta keep that in mind. What's his power up gonna be? Gonna be a potion. Okay, now we're moving. Yeah, this is a super simple track. No problem with that, it's a lot of fun to zoom through. There we go, I like it. I got that as well. This is definitely one where you can keep a lot of like a major boost combo, for sure. Like now we're really starting to soar ahead. Ah, oh, sort of messed that up, but I still got a boost out of it, so that's pretty good. If this one definitely has any kind of like blue boost, it doesn't really need it. Whoa, is there a shortcut over there though? So it looked like there was. I to keep an eye out for that this time. What if there's like some kind of like, you know, throw a potion or something out of thing and it'll open up. Whoa, I do see that up there. Did you see that? Okay trying to keep an eye out. Like even if I don't activate the shortcuts this time, if I could just learn from them, I'm gonna go a little bit slower this lap then and really take a look around. I feel like there's gonna be something to our left. Hmm, like maybe, no, that's not. Okay, that looked like a potential sh corner cut or something. Like that seemed like it would be a cool shortcut. Like maybe, aha, here we go. Oh, that is so cool. I like it. Lots of fun shortcuts in this track, or just in Nitro Kart in general. I mean, they are in CTR, but I'm so used to them, they don't even seem like shortcuts to me, they just seem like the way to go. Okay, that was super cool, for sure. Barren Ruins is one I also don't remember much, but it looks very similar to the previous track. The same hot and cold aesthetic is going through this one. It looks very similar. Huh. It's definitely a different track though. <laughs> At least like it, the layout looks way different, but the aesthetic is the same. I mean, this one doesn't seem to be as much of a factory as just like goes with the hot and cold aesthetic more. Whoa, watch it. It's very icy, <laughs> which I know is the point. Whoa, big jump. And what will this exclamation point do? Maybe something with that giant laser cannon going on? I don't know what that was about. Got some robots doing something robotic. Maybe this is another track from the robot guys area, probably. Whoa. Well, there's a statue of Nash there I saw. So I guess this is something from Nash's area. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Ouch, not good, not good. Hold on. <laughs> what am I doing, watch it. I was so lucky that Rocky didn't hit me. This area is weird because of this ice. Papu's getting way ahead here. Buddy, come back. Can't let you win this one, sorry. So yeah, well, he's gonna activate that. That like, oh geez, I think there's like a crane or something dropping stuff. You have to be careful about that. So I could go wide and get those boots like I did before, but I think it's, ow, geez. Easier just to cut it in close. Get back here. Papu's the only one racing a good race right now. Everybody else is way behind. That seems to happen with the NPCs sometimes. Like one of them will go way ahead. Well, it's just up to us to catch up now, isn't it? Okay, final lap. I can't let him get me. Not really too much in terms of shortcuts that I'm seeing. But I guess we'll find out eventually because if we go online with this track, we'll go like, hey, why is everybody getting so far ahead of us? Probably some kind of shortcut. I love that jump though, it's super cool. 
Surprised that's not a blue boost. With how giving they are with those in the CNK tracks. Look at how one would be. Now we're getting a bit of a lead on Papu, but we gotta keep it. That's where this could get tough. If I could get one more Wumpa Fruit, this will turn into a permanent barrier, and that'd be good. There it is. I mean, it's right at the end, <laughs> so it doesn't matter too much, but awesome. There's another track, and that was a pretty quick one, too. Not really too much to say about it. It's just, that's probably one of the most underwhelming tracks so far. It's not a bad track, though. Like, it's a good all-around track, just like not any kind of crazy shortcut or any kind of interesting function that I saw there that was too crazy. Anyways, we're good to go. Let's move to the next track. So now we're all out of time. Not really, but that's what this track is called. This is one of the ones where I really miss the anti-gravity, but whoa, that's really pretty. Uh, because you actually used to be able to drive up the clock, and I always thought that was a really cool idea, because like that's actually what's on the cover of the game. And now, when I saw it, I was like, I have to get this game. Because I really enjoyed Crash Team Racing growing up, but then I the, the disc got too scratched, so we couldn't play it anymore. And I just remember seeing you know this game on the counter at the store at some point on the like the you know little display case. I was like, I really really want that game. At some point, I got sick or something, and my parents bought it for me because they're nice. And I was like, wow, thank you. <laughs> and then I was able to play it while I was recovering. That was great. Okay, there we go, we're good, but instead we get to go inside of the clock in this one, where I guess it's sort of like a moment frozen in time, all of the stained glass is like broken and frozen there. That's still a pretty cool idea, and this overall track layout is pretty cool. Definitely sort of like a, um, a Dingo Canyon kind of thing. One thing I was definitely interested in when they confirmed that CNK tracks were coming to this game, was if they were gonna use any of the Nitro Car items. It looks like they didn't. I mean, they serve the same purpose as these ones do, but they just have like a different art style to them. Oh, look at this boost. And there was definitely like a corner I could've cut there. I don't know if it was really a shortcut too much, but I'll keep an eye out for that. Oh no, my my battery's low. I'm gonna have to con plug in my controller after all this. I do see the other side of the portion of the track there, but I don't think I can like skip that. That'd be a huge skip. Be crazy. Don't think that's possible. Let's keep it moving. I love the look of this course out. It's so cool looking. There we go. We have a good lead on everybody, so I'm not too worried about any of this. But I, I will definitely work as hard as I can to keep it. Oh, cutting the corner a little short there. I don't think it actually ended up detrimenting us too much. Okay, what do we get? We get a speed boost. So the risky thing with this is you can end up hitting that and falling to your doom. Which definitely wasn't worth it because I already had 10 Wumpa Fruit. Can I go in there? I mean, I could, but there's nothing in there for me. Okay, well, <laughs> interesting for sure. They're starting to catch up, so I really gotta start moving. Actually, I sell my 10 Wumpa Fruit. I don't know why I didn't lose it there, weird. Anyways, it's our last lap. We just gotta keep it moving. There it is. Oh boy. Oh, that's a tight turn. <laughs> really tight turn. Whoop. Okay, so I think I can keep the lead long enough here. Did that item just like immediately explode? That was weird. Oh, I missed that just barely. But I can't wait to try the CTR challenge and the Rolex races for this these tracks. Like that's fun. That's something I'm really looking forward to. Because that's definitely something I never did in the original. So we'll definitely have episodes focusing on that at some point or another. Just jump to those every once in a while. Oh boy. Come on. That's it. Now we're moving. That's the only blue boost, but. It can last a while. Okay, so very cool, that was out of time. I think there's only a couple more tracks left before we are out of time, so let's just keep it moving. Now it's time for the assembly lane. I don't remember this one either, but it looks super cool. Whoa, maybe this is like a bonus track or something if you like 100% of the game. Like, like, you know, like for CTR, there's the turbo track and the slide coliseum. You didn't really need to see those to complete the game. All right, well, let's see about that, Cortex. Oh, there's mud. This definitely has like a tiny arena vibe to it with the mud and the dirt track and the big jumps. 
definitely. Man, aesthetically though, it's cool with the, the types of colors. Whoa, wasn't expecting such a sharp turn. That was weird. But now I know. Whoop. There we go, we're moving. But definitely I feel a whole lot more prepared. Oh, that was like a metal detector over there, like a magnet. It's more of what I mean. Whoa, whoa. So there's like a conveyor belt, but there's also a normal way to go. I guess I sort of went the shortcut way. That was still cool. Okay, out of the way, Cortex. And this part's sort of like that portion in Engine Labs. Yeah, it is sort of, I feel like that's what this, the description of this level is. It's a combo, tiny arena, and engine engine labs. <laughs> Hard to pronounce, apparently. Well, what's down here? Whoa, there's a shortcut, all right. That is super cool. Just accidentally finding a shortcut. It was very risky, I could've just fell right off the edge. There we go. Now we're moving. I do like these first couple of turns. They're a lot of fun to sort of drift through and everything. And now that I know how sharp of a turn that is, it's definitely easier to work with. Oh boy. So where does that move? It'll just move over to the right. You could definitely hit somebody with that and be super satisfying. So I'm gonna go this way now. The normal way I guess you're supposed to go. Oh, this part's super cool. I just like love the look of everything. Whoa! That could have been bad. Oh, I just barely hit the edge of that. That's sort of stinks. So I can stay on the top of this, and if I do, it looks like it'd be tough to get back up if I fall off. So uh, keeping it up here might be a good idea. I love that shortcut though. I'm gonna do that again. Oh boy. Next slap. Here we go. We got a good lead on everybody. Crunch is really going at it with Cortex. They're sort of bouncing back and forth. I didn't get a boost off that jump. That's sort of weird. It has been a bit picky with that. Like which, what, like how you land sort of de determines if you even get a boost at all. Which definitely how it wasn't how it originally was. That worked out pretty well. Oh no, not good. So I want to try this out again. It definitely is faster because of the conveyor belt, but you gotta be careful of the thing slamming down. I wanna be good. Okay, didn't hit the corner that time, tell you that much. So staying on the left now, because I already know there's a boost waiting for us right there. Oh, that is so much fun. Definitely does cut out a little bit of time as you cut that corner short. And we're good, only one more track left to do after this one, but that was a really cool track for sure. Had a lot of fun with it. So the final track of the day, Hyper Spaceway. This is where you'd fight the final boss, Velo. Very cool character, very awesome track. It definitely takes some inspiration from uh, Oxide Station, but even bigger and grander and stuff like that, so this should be super fun. Is Velo in this race? I don't know. I know he's an unlockable character in this game, I'm pretty sure. It'd be weird if he wasn't. Oh, we got like these super mega jumps. Can I land on top of this? Well, I can, but <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay, no take it, don't do that. And then we get to jump through and go into like a different planet or like a different dimension or something like that, who knows? It's just like a crazy track. And because of that, it's mini-map makes no sense. It's great. <laughs> oh man. Put that down. No! That's not good. I mean, I think. Yeah, the minimap is just really weird for this track. Whoa. Gotta jump nice and high to dodge that stuff. I just barely did it too. I'm in last place right now, I don't like that. Yeah, now we're on this left side of the minimap. It's not the longest track in the world then. I mean, I guess it's decent. The length. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, never mind. It's a pretty long track. Come on, I gotta catch up with these guys. Going through this big tube. I need more Wumpa fruit soon. I'm starting to catch up to him. Probably should have gotten one of those speed boosts. Watch it, Oxide, I'm catching up to you, buddy. There we go. So just make sure I get this correctly this time. We should be good. Big jump! Here we go! Awesome. I don't get a blue boost for that. I guess this like doesn't last long enough. Yeah, I'm surprised by the lack of blue boost there. 
What's that about? There's definitely another thing down that way, like a shortcut of some sort. Like a different path almost. So I'm gonna have to try that on the last lap. Hope I remember, because if not, I'll have to retry. I really wanna check that out. There we go. Using the speed boost there is definitely helpful because you can't really drift on that tiny portion of the track that's available. I'll go to the right this time because last time I went to the left. This is an awesome track. Definitely intense when you're racing Velo on it. Oh, that's a blue boost as well. But once again, doesn't last long enough that you can actually bring it to the ground. Like by the time you get to the floor, the boost is over. There we go. And that's another one, and it ends. Yeah, sort of weird like that. Okay, it's the final lap, though. Wonder if I drifted into it. I don't know if that actually helps too much at all. Yeah, just by the time you reach the floor, it's over. Okay, so here's our chance to just jump down here. Whoa, cool shortcut. And I could go up there, or I could stay down this way. I'm guessing, you know, that was just like a sooner way I could have gotten. Oh no, I see now, I'm back on the main track, right? Yeah, okay. So I could have like jumped up from somewhere. Maybe that's where the other part of the track comes in. So maybe that wouldn't have been a good idea. Maybe I would have ended up going backwards. That was a fun shortcut for sure. I don't think there's anything else in terms of shortcuts for this track. Not that I would know of. Weird that you have to jump for those question blocks. That's a pretty cool idea. You need to know what you're doing. Let me finally get some Wumpa Fruit. Never mind, I missed. <laughs> I was gonna say, finally get myself the, up to 10 Wumpa Fruit would be great. Couldn't hurt, that's for sure. Come on, come on. And boom, there we go. So that is every single Crash Nitro Kart track. I had a ton of fun with that. Hopefully you guys did too. And now we are all prepared. We are prepared to go online and take on anybody who challenges us, maybe. We'll see. I mean, I might still lose, but at least I'll know what direction I'm going now, right? So that'll be pretty good. Next episode will be showcasing Crash Bandicoot as a character online. And then after that, we'll start showcasing more and more characters online. It's gonna be a ton of fun. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today episode of Crash Team Racing. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Nitro Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. And out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.